too sure. Hope they call and cancel, then I overthink about the thing. Like I'm out of my mind when I'm doing just fine. What it's like, I can't sleep. Most of the time, different state, a different country. I watch them fall apart. You know who I think is underrated? Julia Michaels. I was just listening to her album from 2019, um, Inner Monologue Part 1, and that album is so good. And then also Nervous System came out in 2017, and then she also has Inner Monologue Part 2, 2019. Um, those are so good. Just shouting them out in case you forgot about them and haven't listened to them since then or have never listened to them. Highly recommend. Because she is such a good songwriter. I mean, obviously, she writes for, like, a bunch of other people. But, um, I just freaking love her. And I remember whenever all of the, um, she used to date Lauv, the musician. And I was so invested in their relationship because I was so obsessed with both of their music at the time. And then they both came out with albums after they broke up. And I just remember that time. You know, sometimes during those times, they're like, it's like, it's so interesting to get all of the juice through music. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm going to get dressed. Let's do a little get dressed moment. I'm gonna turn the lights on. Is that gonna help? Oops. This room does not get light until the end of the day. It's the morning right now. So anyway, um, I wanna put on an outfit. I already have my bodysuit on. Like, I was putting it on today and I'm like, no one talks about how like actually embarrassing slash demeaning it is to put on a bodysuit. The way you have to like do the snaps in your crotch and like, I think I wanna do a little button up moment with this shirt, but it's, it's the pants that I need to figure out. It's either these black trousers or jeans. Pants. Nice and chill, nice and casual moment with like, okay, now what shoes though? Maybe I'll do like a pop of blue. Or do I want a sneaker? A red sneaker could be fun with this. Okay, I'm actually leaning towards sneaker because it's a more casual day. What do we think? I think that's cute actually, okay. I think it sucks. Hi, Schmucky. Hold on. I'll show you my outfit in a second, but you guys, I'm so excited. Today, I'm gonna take you around with me. I have a few errands I need to run. It's my sister's birthday coming up. I wanna get some things for her, possibly. I also wanna go to the bookstore, maybe. Um, craft store and thrift store. I'm thinking I need buttons, and I would love to thrift like an old cool button. Otherwise, I'll just go to Joanne's or Michael's or something, but I need that for a knitting project I just finished. I knit a bag and I wanna add a little button on it to keep it closed. I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm really excited. Today's like kind of my day off. I worked this morning and now it's like 12 um, and I worked throughout the weekend and it's Wednesday. So I'm finally just taking a little day off. I had a lot of projects due this weekend through and I kind of just wanna chill with you guys today. Hopefully that's okay. And anyway, let me show you my outfit. My little outfit of the day, black bodysuit with some round sneakers, um, the trouser pants and the top is actually from Cotton. And look how cute it is. I just need to do like a little 360 moment for it. All of the details and color up front, I love it. Cotton's actually sponsoring today's video, so thank you to them. I'm really excited and like very thankful to be working with them and a brand like them. They're actually a sustainable company that's super intentional about creation and consumption, and they also have really freaking cute pieces. This shirt, this is going to be like one of, I can just feel it. It's gonna be like my top worn shirt of the spring and summer, but um, it's their boxy poplin shirt. The prettiest shade of pink in there, and I love this. I already wore it out to dinner the other day with my family. And then I'm also wearing their plaza pants, which these are so good, you guys. I love a good, like, dramatic moment in a pan. And I also have their tan flow top, which I think is going to be so good in the summertime, especially. I feel like wearing it over a bathing suit would be really cute, or just, like, with a tank top and shorts. It's, like, super simple, easy. And Cotton's a really cool brand, and I think you guys would really, really like them. They believe making products that are made better, can be loved longer, and are designed to have a positive impact. I have a whole page dedicated to learning about their farms, and I just really love that and respect the transparency, so you can see that here. And they actually give back to their farming communities through funding of literacy programs. And within that, Cotton has actually built 15 schools, which I just think is really cool, and I wanted to throw that in there as well about them. And also, again, their clothes are cute, and I'm going to have a great day wearing them today. So thank you so much to Cotton for sponsoring this. And now, it's starting to get really bright out, so I think we should go. I, I don't know where I want to start our, our journey. The first stop I do want to make is the bookstore, but I wanted to show you, I just got these two books in. I think I already showed you The Happy Place by Emily Henry, but nonetheless, I still, these are on my to-be-read, but I still want to go, go there, and I also want to get my sister something um, from the bookstore, so I'm like, ooh, maybe we'll go browse around. Uh, this is just the new Emily Henry one, and I'm excited to read it. I feel like I like the Emily Henry, I can't remember. Loved people we meet on vacation and a couple of her other ones, but um, this one is the second one to, what is it? 
I think I read it on my Kindle actually. I can't find it on the shelf. First one is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, and I fucking loved that book so much. I got through it's a big book too, and so I'm really, really excited. Also, I love that they're both pink covers. So we're gonna go see though what we can find. People that have heard. Okay, I made it to Barnes and Noble. I'm gonna run in there, look around, see some things, and there are like a lot of different places in this puzzle. I'm like, maybe I go to TJ Maxx after I've been in there in a while. Um, but yeah, so I'm just looking for some books for my sister. Um, and we also, I was thinking about it on the way here. I'm like, I was planning to vlog the other day, but I did it. We went and saw Sabrina Carpenter's um, emails I can't send tour in Detroit, and it was so good. And I got a few like little footage clips and stuff that I'll put in now. So good. And I don't know how many stops she has left on the tour, but I highly recommend if you like her and if you were thinking about going, I just put down like a really good concert and we had a lot of fun. It was at Masonic Temple too in Detroit, which I love. I love Masonic Temple. I forgot. I haven't been there since Halsey um, in like 2015, I think when I saw her there. And it's just like a very beautiful, big thing. They also, also if you are ever on Detroit, they host at the Masonic Temple. They always have um, the orchestras playing, like, like the string quartets that do like cover nights. And like we've gone to like the Taylor Swift one and it's so fun there. Okay, so we did that. And then last night we went, um, Jared and I went to Blink-182. I'm still like on like a high from it. It was so fun. And it was a reunion tour and it was just like <laughs> such a vibe. Jared and I love them. And um, it was such a good time. Um, then speaking of concerts, today one of the errands that I want to run is I want to go to Joann's and I want to check the fabric section and just see because I'm like I don't know what I'm wearing to the Eras tour. I have my show um, June 9th the Detroit show. So what I'm wearing still and I wanted to kind of like make something I'm thinking. Um, I want to go to Joann's first and foremost before I order fabric online because obviously Joann's that's like the only fabric store I think I have near me. I don't even know um, and so I'm like going to see if they have like the kind of vibe that I want and if not I will order online today because I have kind of an image in my head. So anyway it's getting warm in here because I turned the um, air conditioner off but there she is mother earth I haven't been in here in a while on a few romancy books I don't know which one I'm gonna give to my sister for her birthday but the other two I'm gonna keep for me I haven't decided that yet but um, I'm looking in like the self-help section I feel like she really really loves these kinds of books self-transformation love i have every book of this and i love it um those are like the only kind of self transformation books that i really like but i'm gonna try to find one that hopefully she doesn't have because i know she has a lot of them so okay here's the stack that i found i'm thinking this one for jamie the energy code seven step system to awaken your spirit heal your body and live your best life this is totally up her alley and it has to do with meditation dr sue mortar i guess um then we have Book Lovers, which I don't think I've read this one by Emily Henry, and I kind of really want to, so I might grab that. And then Before We Were Strangers, I just liked the cover, and then I read the back, and I was like, wait, I really like the back as well. Like, people have known each other for 15 years, but then just finally, like, go on a date or something? I don't know. Um, that might be wrong synopsis, but anyway, and then every summer after, I've heard amazing things about this, and I want, like, a summary book to go into the summer with, you know? So I might grab that one as Okay, I am in the area and one of my all-time favorite thrift stores is over here and so I'm like, let's just hop in. I kind of look at their fabric. Okay, I'm in the thrift and look at the, um, I think they're like curtain panels, but I love the ruffles on them and like the embroidery like detail on it. I don't know and then look at, uh, I don't need more fabric. I have fabric, like thrifted fabric that I wanted to make stuff out of, but it's like when you see good ones, how do you pass them up? Like the little tulips, both in great condition. And I have something in mind for both and I think that's so good. And then also I found some yarn, so of course I have to grab that. So this is one of those thrift stores that if I actually like take the time to look, I'll find way too many things. So I'm just kind of like browsing, like briskly peeking, I guess, at what they have. Because again, I always find a lot of things and I'm kind of just looking in the pants and shorts section right now because it's really warm and I don't have a lot of shorts. So we're gonna see. <laughs> and of course the skirts. I actually feel like I need to look always in the skirts because skirts are like where I lack in the thrift department. And so I feel the need every time to just see because it's always the time you don't look where there's something. I feel like that's like definitely a looming thought that I just make up, but yeah. Like this green tiered skirt, I love it. 
don't need it, but I love it. I love the color like so much. I found a couple of things to try on and I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to randomly buy something, I might as well try it on to make sure that it at least works. So um, I have like two tops and a skirt. Skirt. I love the um, plaid and the coloring on it and the length. I feel like it's like a pretty good length. Like that. I don't know. Stretchy waistband. Thing came out. I think it's three dollars. What do we think? I think I kind of like it. I'm glad I tried this on because it's a little. It's just not hitting. I don't know. I I'm just not loving it. Um, but I almost just like said so got it anyway. But I'm glad I didn't. I do think I can do better for like a little summer shirt. But I like the texture of it. See that? I love that kind of texture, and I feel like it's really lightweight, and I like the color. You can't tell. Maybe there. It's like a very buttery yellow. This is a definite yes because it is a nautical girl summer on this channel, for me at least. Um, and I think this is perfect. I picture it with like big chunky beads or something, or pearls or some some big necklace, and I don't know. I like the shape of it too. The fit. It's like a little sweatshirt crew neck kind of moment, and I like it. It's like dark blue, but I'm wearing it black, and I kind of I don't care. I, I'll do it. This I'm kind of living for. <laughs> like the cut and everything and obviously the pattern. Cute. Ah. Guys, I'm at Joanne's. I'm kind of nervous. Well, okay, it's not that deep, but I <laughs> I want, I have like, I don't even know exactly what I want to do, but I want to do, it's going to be June, it's probably going to be hot on my Aries tour date, and so I'm thinking of something that's sheer that I can wear something like under, but I still want to like be like a sparkly little moment because why not, um, and so I'm just sheer sheath or shift dress whatever and with bell sleeves and that has like feathers on the trim i don't know the logistics or anything so i just kind of want to look and see fabric choices i think that would help sort my brain out a little bit uh and so that's kind of what i'm looking for i'm hoping they'll have something i want something like that maybe already has sparkles so i don't have to like sew in hand sew in like the sequins or because also you know i was so excited for like heiress toward outfits because in the past with like the meet and greets that she would pick how she would pick people and her mom would go around and like pick the cool outfits and like the people who are like super into the show and everything and she's not doing that this year it does make it makes a little less pressure full because i had so much pressure because i'm like i made a dollar shop this year now i just want to look cute so we let's just yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. made it in and i saw this aisle which i like the idea of these um but i don't know if i want like something like this with sequins and also i've heard that if you are not a master sewer that like this could be hard and so that's why i don't necessarily want like a sequin sequin fabric i don't know i don't know i'm like i'm all over the place but i like the idea of that like different sized sequins and stuff also i saw this fabric over here which is for a completely different thing but i really liked that they had this here i didn't know that to make quilted pieces in this would be sick um but i'm gonna keep peeking around they have a lot of fabric as you can see all around so it gives me i mean it's not really but the um that applique flower dress that she wore i think it was like to the grammys those kind of give me that vibe i don't know just, these are very pretty just not exactly what i want and i don't think i want black i don't know i don't wear a lot of black usually and so i'm like but that that is really pretty and like shiny okay, this is gorgeous and gives very lover era but also midnights and so i kind of love that idea too i'm gonna keep that in my brain i might take a picture of that actually at first i was kind of opposed to this because i felt like it might because i'm not a professional and i don't know exactly how or a designer and so i'm not sure exactly how to make it look like not super kind of like cheap feeling you know but i saw someone actually like i said at first i was kind of opposed to like a really shimmery fabric like this and i wanted more sheer and then add my own sequins and not be super like aggressive about it but then i saw someone last night at the blink show and under like the like barely any light it like sparkled so like prettily prettily it looked very pretty while it was sparkling it was very glitzy and so i was like that's kind of fun too you know so the way that moves they have different colors but i feel like this color is very midnight i don't really have an era specific i wanted to do folklore but folklore but i also wanted to do sparkly and i feel like folklore and sparkly you could mix the two so i could do like a green or something but <laughs> even something like this but i don't know do i want to do white good thing i'm just coming here to look around i guess huh because i have no fucking clue okay i think i found like a really good section you guys like this is just it's tooling but it's like has the sparkles in it and I mean, oh, oops, hold on. Look at that, please. I don't know why, but I like love that. 
Can you tell how pretty it is even in the video? And then over here, I mean, that's amazing, but I don't want it to be like so perfectly sequined like this. Although those are very pretty. <laughs> Some Lover Era fabric. I'm finding all of it here. Wow, okay. That's pretty too. Okay, but I think I really like these kinds of, this kind of like mesh fabric where it sparkles and then I can just add on the sequins by hand where I want them. What do you guys think? I don't know. But the thing is here, I don't know what color I would do. There are so many color options. This I just think would be way too hard for me to work with. I just don't trust myself with that yet. But um, do I just go simple white or do I leave like an orange? I do really like this color right now and I think that would be fun. Or I also like this. I feel like I like the idea of this. Or this, which is more of like a skin tone, ivory-ish. Okay. Look at this, you guys. I just randomly found that. That's iconic. And I, again, I don't trust myself with that. But that's beautiful. This is too. Oh my god, that would be really pretty. Lavender haze vibes. Look at those aren't clearance too. If you're looking for any like this and you're more skilled or daring than I am. Strip to Joanne's has given me... A lot of ideas and comfort knowing that I can get it here. I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go look at sewing patterns just for fun. Uh, I haven't used a sewing pattern in a really long time, so I'm curious. And what else do I need? I need a button, duh. Buttons galore. Oh, they're like fun ones too. I think I just want like a big one. I didn't bring it and I should have brought it. I mean, like a little heart one would be cute, I feel like. Now in the yarn, looking for what shade I wanna do. Um, I don't know what color to do in for my sisters. Oh, bye. Also, here are the, you can't see the sliding is terrible, but these are the buttons that I found for my little bag. They're like a little shiny pink, you know. Came home now, you guys, but I wanted to show you in our backyard, all of the, our apple trees, their flowers are blooming and I'm so stoked about it. Hi, can you say hi? We're outside, he wants to play with Felix. Oh, say hi, say hi, say hello, hi, hi. Anyway, um, we, Jordan and I are getting ready to go to the park to go on a walk and I wanna take them on a walk afterwards. Once it cools down a little bit, it's just too hot right now and they don't enjoy the walks whenever it's just too hot. So um, to a different spot after, um, that way we can be outside all night. That's kind of like our favorite things to do whenever it's nice out finally. It's like over 80 today and it feels so good. So good. So we're gonna do that. Felix has to go potty first and then um, we're gonna leave and go. But come. We're here at the park. Bring my little, my what is it called? The workout dress and then my little cotton um, shirt on top of it. And same everything else. Well, all my shoes. Shoes. And then anyway. Went to Joann's earlier. I found fabric and I was looking at like the glittery like mesh tooling fabric, right? Because I wanted it to be sheer. And I was thinking, I was like, I want to have a theme for the uh, dress. Like, but I, it doesn't have to be like on theme, like a theme theme that everyone knows of. I just want it in my head to have something. So I thought of it because I was listening to The Last Great American Dynasty. I decided that I'm going to be Rebecca from The Last Great American Dynasty. The one who had a marvelous time ruining everything. Right? You know that one? Mm-hmm. Buck is this rich socialite um, in Rhode Island, and I was like, okay, I want to base it on her. She gives me very, like, Gatsby era vibes, and that's kind of what I was going for in the first place, like, in my head. I hand sequin it to have, like, all of the different colors of Taylor Swift albums and stuff. I'm gonna have a green, key lime green dog, stuffed dog with me. Show you this? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This I is, saw, you can't see, see it? it. No. Oh, I'll insert it here. Saw this Mew Mew dress, or, like, skirt combination or whatever and I'm like I loved it and obviously that's a little risque for a Taylor Swift concert but um I was thinking of like something similar with a sheer fabric and hand doing the sequins on it and that's just going to be like my overall inspo I had Jared holding the camera for me um so thanks Jared but this I felt like this kind of was perfect because the great last great American dynasty is on my favorite Taylor Swift album folklore and so I was like that I think that's perfect because I've been wanting to do a folklore themed song or like outfit so we're gonna go on our little walk um around the park and we get out of here let's go anyway i do like this little outfit i'm glad that i can wear my like workout dresses again warning the most beautiful thing you've ever seen incoming i just opened up the mail this is the next day now and i literally couldn't even wait okay franklin come on man 
I couldn't even wait to open this until later. I, so my birthday is coming up on the 21st, and since the past two years, I think, I like to like add something to my little collection of like really beautiful pieces that I wouldn't buy otherwise. Last year was the Jerf Av occasion set, and I've worn that throughout the whole year. And so my whole goal is to buy something again that I wouldn't necessarily normally purchase because it's like out of my price range, or like I can't justify it somehow, but it has to be something that I obviously will wear again, and that like excites me to wear. So this is my special little top for turning 26, and I'm very, very excited about it. Here's the front, yep. here's the back. I don't have help tying it right now, so I can't tie it, but it's from Chelsea Jane, Chelsea Joan. Designer Chelsea Joan, um, thank you so much. And this is her Anna Silk blouse, and I am like, had over heels. I've had over heels for her whole shop, and I've had her like in my like mood board, I swear, for the past like two years. I'm, like so elated over this, and I cannot wait for my birthday now to wear this, um, and for other beautiful events, or just on the daily, um, because this top is like so gorgeous. It was an investment, but you know what? I just cheer myself up because I only have one week left of being on my parents' health insurance, so. You know, anyway, um, let me change out of this and then I have a couple other things I wanted to show you. Anyway, so these are the things I grabbed yesterday. I did get this fabric, um, very excited about, of course got this. I got everything I showed you that I was going to get. A little striped top from the thrift store and then this skirt from the thrift store also, which I'm very excited I have to wash these now. Also, here's my little bag that I knit. This is like the first ever bag that I've ever knit, and so <laughs> don't judge it too harshly. I did it in pieces. I didn't go off of a pattern because I couldn't find a pattern that I liked. I accidentally made the back too long, so I was like, well, I guess I could fold it over and put a button. That could be cute otherwise because this is like how it goes. It's out of like some type of wool thing, and so it's very uh, shetty. And, like, I need to sweater shave it and everything, but um, let's see. But I wanted like a little shoulder bag moment that I could also like this you know I think it is cute though like for my first time okay from Joann's this is what I grabbed I grabbed this to make my sister a little bag I have some cheap crochet needles I just bought a knitting pattern yesterday from Josephine Dyerin Dyerin knit is that what Josephine Dyer knit Josephine Dyer knit and it's for like this top and the edges are like crocheted so I'm like I have to learn that so I bought some cheap crochet hooks to do that with Hopefully that'll be okay. I also picked up this because I've been seeing people using it on like line and it's the Susan Bates digital row counter for knitting. I've just been using my phone and my notes app and so I'm like this might be helpful. I also grabbed a button. See that would look cute. I don't know how I'm gonna attach it because I didn't make any buttonholes but I'm just gonna like DIY it like it'll be fine. Um, lastly for my little knitting like finishing needles um, I wanted like a little thing to put them in because I always just leave them all over the house and that scares me with animals. So but anyway I'm about to take a shower and I just wanted to show you guys those because I wanted to try that on because like I guess it just was delivered and I was so, I've been waiting for it like checking my email every day to see when it was going to be delivered So it came really quickly also she hand makes them I caught a drop I literally was waiting and like, alarms on for this drop because I did not want to miss out on it. it came from the United Kingdom So um, like I said it came really fast even though it was from far away And it just makes me so excited for my birthday now I need to uh, like I said go shower And so I think this is going to be the end of this video So thank you guys for spending my day off yesterday with me today. I'm getting back to it I really loved spending my day with you guys and let me know if you like videos like this and vlogs like this that are kind of more short sometimes I do like longer ones and I really like those too so I'm just kind of kind of switching up playing around um and yeah thanks for being here I love you so much I hope you have a great day bye <laughs>